Hello again, I'm Mark Kiesling. Illinois House Republicans called for an independent audit of the Department of Employment Security following a massive data breach in their unemployment system in May. Now, a new audit report looks at IDES compliance before that data breach. And all lawmakers are concerned about what it found out. Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich explains. Illinois Auditor General Frank Montino's two-year compliance report is available for anyone to read online. Montino notes the department is responsible for computer systems with large collections of confidential information, including names, addresses, social security numbers, and tax information. However, IDES failed to classify data to ensure that information would be protected from cyber attacks. The Auditor General conducted a test to see if employees completed annual cybersecurity training. 10% of those sampled didn't complete the training, and the department didn't require new employees to complete the training after they were hired. IDES did not respond to requests for comments on the report, but some lawmakers are speaking out. No one's going to be able to run and hide from this issue. Uh, I, I'm not accusing anyone of doing anything nefarious, but I, I am accusing um, of, I guess, malpractice, if you will. Representative Terry Bryan notes the audit found a contractor was using a personal computer to work on payroll matters. The audit states IDES doesn't have policies in place to ensure payroll information is safely removed from personal devices from anyone working remotely. Bryant has been critical of the Pritzker administration's response to the recent data breach, but also happens to be a former external auditor for the Illinois Department of Corrections. While she isn't shocked by the findings in this audit, Bryant feels IDES is getting away with the slap on the wrist. If we had found a finding in the Department of Corrections that was this serious and didn't, didn't address it, heads would be rolling. Representative Brian hopes to see a hearing with the Auditor General, IDES, and the Pritzker administration before lawmakers return this fall. IDES has created a temporary solution to cut down on wait times and repeated calls to their unemployment line. The call back only model went into effect today. Now you will receive a call when you are next in line without losing your place. The department says you must select the appropriate option describing the reason for your initial call. Officials say this will ensure you will be served in the exact order the department receives your call. And today, the Department of Employment Security announced a new director. Governor Pritzker appointed Kristen Richards, the current chief of staff to the Senate president. Richards has served two governors and two Senate presidents during her 18 years of overseeing nearly two dozen state agencies and seven state budgets.